everybody, today I'm going to be doing a really fun tag and it's called the Nail Obsession Tag, Nail Polish Obsession, Obsession Tag. And um, I think this is probably going to be one of my favorite tags to watch from now on, only because um, I love nail polish, like love, 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 and I'm always trying to find new and fun colors to wear. So let's just get to it. Okay, so the first question is, um, favorite nail polish company? I will definitely have to say China Glaze, and the reason for that is because they have a large variety of colors, and they are so pretty, and they're just pretty good quality, and all the colors are pretty opaque. Like, I just, I really, really love China Glaze. Ever since I discovered one color, I went to Sally's Beauty Supply, and I bought a whole bunch more. So definitely, um, China Glaze. And let's see, the next question is glitter or no glitter? Definitely glitter. I love glitter. I think by putting glitter on your nails a certain way with certain colors makes your nail polish look glamorous and so um, pretty and just... I, I just love the look of a glitter nail polish, even if it's fine or thick, whichever kind of nail polish. The, the way that you put it with certain colors look really stand out and look really, really beautiful. Like, I used to think that it used to be, like, for little girls, and I used to stay away from that, but once I saw it on this one girl, I was like, oh my god, it looks so pretty on your nails, and then from then on, I just started wearing glitter on my nails, and I am obsessed with it now, so definitely glitter. Um, let's see, OPI China Glaze or SC. That's a tough question because they all have um, something. They all have something good for each company. Um, OPI is definitely top of the line brand because they have they have you know good colors. It's they don't have that much of a variety. They're limited edition, so it's hard for you to for you to get your hands on something sometimes. Um, they're really expensive. They dry fast and they don't chip as much, but. If it's worth the investment, I'm not sure because if you have a lot of nail polishes, what are you going to do with Tenderfin OPI nail polishes? And down the line, um, you know, if you're, if you're nail polish obsessed, are you really going to get your money's worth out of every single nail polish, you know, that you pay that much money for? I'm not saying, you know, like, don't get OPI. I mean, I love OPI, don't get me wrong, but is it worth the investment? I only get... OPI when there's a color um, that I can find in China, Gla China Glaze or sinful colors then I'll reserve to OPI but um, and then let's say China Glaze like I said I love and then SC has really cute packaging and they have a lot of different colors a lot of different shades I like that so I mean they pretty I don't even know what to say but for me I love China Glaze how often, because China Glaze is very affordable, so okay, before, next question, how often do you change your nail polish? Um, it just depends when it starts chipping. It depends. It could be for a week, or it could be three days or two days. It just, it just really depends. Um, let's see, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is hands down the China Glaze. It's called Shocking Pink and Neon, and I've worn these in my last couple of videos. If you want to see it on my nails, I will put a link down below of the couple of videos that I had it in. It was just like two videos that I had it in, but I absolutely love this nail polish. It's neon. When it dries, it's a little bit matte, and you have to put a clear nail polish over but that's just with all neon colors, and it is so bright, and it's like Barbie pink, and Oh my goodness, it just makes me feel extremely girly and cute and I get a lot of compliments when I wear this nail polish because it literally draws your eyes to your nails. Like one time uh, someone told me that they couldn't stop staring my way and it was because of my nails and I was like, what? Like that's weird. But they're like, I was so drawn to your nail. Like it, it brings so much attention because it's so bright and pretty. So definitely, definitely, definitely add this to your collection if you don't have it. It's very inexpensive. Go to Beauty Supply, Sally's Beauty Supply, go wherever you find China Glaze and get this nail polish. I absolutely love it. And I know you will too. Just put a uh, top coat um, after it so it's not matte. So it, it's a little bit glossy. Dark or bright? Definitely bright. I love bright colors. I think the majority of the reason for that is because I have darker skin, especially in the summer. I will I will be really, really tan. So bright colors stand out on me. Now if you're more fair skin, I think um, 
dark colors look really great on you. Um, you know, light colors may look really great on you too, but uh, my best friend Ashley, you've seen her in a couple of my videos, um, whenever she wears dark nail polishes, her hands stand out so much more, especially black, um, and she looks, it looks so pretty on her. Like, I love the way that dark nail polish looks on fair skin, and if you're a darker skin tone, I think that um, brighter colors look pretty on you too. Okay, so next question what is on your nails right now right now I just picked up the Pink Friday by the Nicki Minaj um, edition or whatever it's called and it is this one right here it's by it's called Pink Friday yep by um, OPI by Nicki Minaj and it's this really pretty pink color I love pinks I have a million shades of pink I would say about 50% of my nail polishes are all different shades of pink and I haven't seen something like this it has like I don't even know it has like either like a blue or purple undertone I think and it just it's really pretty I really really like it I'm glad I picked that one up um let's see matte nails in or out that's a hard question because it takes I don't know I think so far it's out only because you always apply a top coat to your nails um I know Essie has this new nail polish where you can turn any nail polish matte and you can do some pretty cool nail art with it and it looks like you have leather on your nails so it just depends what kind of colors you use with it so you have to really play with it so I'm not sure but I think as of right now it might be out but since Essie came out with that with that nail polish I think I might go pick it up and get it try it out and see if I like um, my nails matted let's see French manicure yes or no yes definitely I think it looks it goes with everything I mean I remember I had my nails done for a year, big mistake because it like totally made my nails look horrible, but I had French manicure for a year and I loved it. I loved having my nails done, but it just got really expensive, really pricey, and I wanted to add some color to my nails um, just for fun. So I do like um, French manicure, but maybe not all the time. I like color. Let's see, um, your favorite winter color. Now, that's the end of the questions. Um, I think it would be a lot more interesting if I told you what all the seasons, what my favorite nail polish for all the seasons are. So for winter, let me get this out. For winter, I like wearing white because it reminds me of the snow and I also always put sinful colors, um, the white one right here. And this one's called Snow Me White. Oh my god, I, I swear to you, like, I promise, I did not even know that it was what it was called. I always wear um, white in the winter because I like, um, it reminds me of the snow and then I will always put like a pearl color over it and this is CQ. It's called Pearly, Pearly Pearl and it's by CQ. I think this was like a dollar and I bought it at Walmart and I always put this, it's too sheer so that's why I have to put a white underneath it and then I just put any glitter um, iridescent nail polish that I have and I love the look of that. So that's my favorite winter nail polish. Um, let's see, fall nail polishes, I would say, I like this one by China Glaze and it's really pretty. It's called Swing Baby and it's like a really pretty like um, brownish kind of color. Um, I don't know if you can see really well. Um, it has like, it has some shine to it and I'm not really a big fan of these type of nail polishes. But since it's dull colors don't look that great on me, I think this nail polish, because of the sheen on it, it stands out on my nails and I like it. So that's my favorite fall color. And my favorite spring colors are um, definitely this one by China Glaze. And it is called Peachy King. And it's basically what it describes it as. It's like a really pretty orangey color. And it's just, it screams spring to me. I really like that one. And one of my other favorites for spring is called Cotton Candy. And this is by Orly, and I love this color, especially on my toenails. Whenever um, I wear, I you start wearing sandals, it just, I just, oh, I just love it. So I really like this. And Orly, let me tell you, is extremely opaque. Um, if you're looking for nail polishes that are extremely opaque and last long, I definitely recommend Orly. Um, I, I'm not a big fan of the color selection that they have. That's why it's not my absolute favorite brand, but I really do like it. And then, of course, my summer um, favorite nail polish would definitely have to be China Glaze. My absolute favorite nail polish in the world, Shocking Pink and Neon. Um, so that is pretty much for this um, 
tag video and I want to tag some people because I am dying to know what their favorite nail polish shiz are um, so let's see the first person I tag is Forever Joe 89 and that's just my really good friend um, Joe I love her I love you Joe <laughs> and then my um, the second person I tag is I hope I'm saying this right Madame May and she has such a sweetheart. Oh, she's gorgeous. So I would love to see a tag video from you from this video. Um, the next one that I tag is is Dot Lash, and she is just gorgeous too. I love her. Um, so I hope she does it too, cause we have the same skin tone um, color, and I would I want to see what looks great on her skin tone, and maybe it'll look good on me too. And then. Um, I also want to tag um, one of my new favorite um, YouTubers here, but I I hope that I could tweet this to her or somebody can help me tweet this to her and tell her to do this tag video because she's gorgeous. I absolutely love the nail polishes that she has. I actually got Pink Friday because of watching one of her videos. Um, so her name is N Guerrero 19. And then also, um, Mrs. Makeup 102, and she's new here to YouTube. I love her. She's really sweet, and um, she's been doing um, a lot of tag videos. So if you guys like tag videos, she's done like a vanity vanity makeup tour video. She's done a my boyfriend hubby tag video. Um, she's done a what's in my makeup purse, um, what's in my bag, and a couple others, like my favorites and stuff like that. So if you guys like those type of videos, go ahead and check her channel out. And also, I tag all of you. I love you guys so much. And in the comments below, please tell me what your absolute favorite nail polish is, like what brand, what color, and then if it's like a pink or a blue or anything like that. Because sometimes the colors can be really um, creative and you don't know if it's like a purple or a pink. So please let me know what your favorite um, nail polishes are and put in the comments below. And that is all for this video. And um, thank you for watching. Bye. Hi everybody. Okay, so... <sighs> Hi everybody, okay, so please excuse my voice because I'm sick, but I really want to do this video. Ah! By Sinful Colors, and it used to, um, why do I sound like a dude? Sound like a man.